My name is Jenny Farland. I live in Rain, Louisiana, and I'm in the eighth grade. A few short weeks ago, I stepped out of my bed and into climate change. They called it a thousand year flood, but in Louisiana, we had that and eight, five hundred year floods in less than two years. As I. Closer to the, closer to the, way oh. closer to Mount Heat. <laughs> As I stand here, my home is a wreck. We had to take down the walls and to stop the mold, and we had to pull out the carpet and flooring. We lost our furniture and our, and we lost our furniture and our belongings. Even most of my little brother's toys were destroyed. Climate change is home in my family now. As I stand here, Judge Aiken hold as I hope <laughs> I hope that George Aiken hold us today. I hope that she will protect m me, my family, and future generations. The fed the federal government has not done enough to protect anyone. Even after President Obama visited our flooded communities, he still allowed the selling of millions of acres of the United <laughs> of the Gulf of Mexico to oil and gas for future drilling. Right. And, and the new, newly proposed plan, the government will sell more. Like the jo Jordan Cove pipeline plan, this will cause our planet to heat more and cause more floods where I live and disasters to other places as well. I don't want to see another family go through what we have experienced. 13 people died in the flood and many pets and animals too. Nobody, nobody should bury their loved ones simply because the government wants to bury their heads from the truth or because oil companies want to bury themselves in money. Thanks. Thanks for, thank you for listening to me. I'm human, I am real, I am a leader. I deserve a healthy and safe future, and I am saying that it's time for my government to realize that.